Good morning, ESM. Here are our top stories for today. After performing his Oscar-winning song, Lose Yourself, Eminem took a knee in tribute to Colin Kaepernick, San Francisco 49ers quarterback who took a knee to protest racial inequality and police brutality. Many reports suggested the NFL banned Eminem from taking a knee, but the NFL denied telling him not to. Spokesperson Brian McCarthy said in a statement, We watched all elements of the show during multiple rehearsals this week and were aware that Eminem was going to do that. In Syracuse, New York, a driver was charged with DWI after crashing their vehicle into a gas station. According to police, the driver was traveling southwest on Erie Boulevard and drove into the parking area of the mobile gas station when the driver crashed the car into a middle guard post. The vehicle had significant damage and the driver was taken to Upstate University Hospital. Six mummified children, thought to have been sacrificed hundreds of years ago, apparently to accompany a dead nobleman to the afterlife, have been unearthed in a tomb near Lima. The tiny skeletons, wrapped tightly in cloth, were found in the grave of an important man, possibly a political figure, discovered last November at the dig site of Cajamarquia, about 15 miles east of Lima. The children could be close relatives and were placed in different parts of the entrance of the tomb of the noblemen's, one on top of the other, said archaeologist Peter Van Dalen, who is in charge of the dig. The archaeologists think the children were sacrificed to accompany the noble man in the afterlife. The mummies are thought to be around 1,100 years old. A child that has been missing for two years in Tioga County, Albany, has been found. The now six-year-old was found in her biological parents' basement stairs after being kidnapped by them. Her parents and grandfather, Kirk Schultz Jr., Kimberly Cooper, and Kirk Schultz Sr., were all charged with felony custodial interference and endangering the welfare of a child. The child is now safe with her legal guardian and older sister. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There's a senior class variety show meeting on Wednesday at the beginning of Block 2 in the auditorium. There will also be a recap meeting after school in the chorus room Wednesday at 326 for any seniors who is not on campus Block 2. The weight room will be open, open during February break Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 9 to 11 a.m. Please see Coach Heschbacher if you have any questions. ESM Movie Night is this Friday. This, the first movie is in Kanto at 8 p 6 p.m. and Shang Shi at 8.30. Congratulations to Laura, oh God, uh, for winning two free tickets. Follow our Instagram at ESM Video Club to stay up to date on giveaways like free tickets to movie night. Tickets are available online for $4 and then at the door for 6 Scan the QR code on screen now for more information. Raffle basket tickets for Ski Club are on sale in the lobby this week at 50 cents, and they'll be on in the main lobby through Friday morning, and winners will be drawn Friday 4th block. Now our video for principles for the week. Fourth weather. CL Mark 2nd. So to start off today's weather, we're going to be going over a quick ski report. Um, Labrador and Song Mountain has all trails open, and there's no new snow, and it's going to be pretty similar conditions to last week. And now onto our map. As you can see, once again, like many past days, we have clear skies, and nothing is expected to happen today. Now onto our seven day. today. Is a high of 47 and a low of 42, which is a very good day for Ski Club 
because ski clubs today and it's going to be very warm so you're not going to need to bundle up as much and the conditions will be nice. Thursday has a high of 57 and a low of 27 and Friday has a high of 27 and a low of 15 which will start to dip down and pick up again on Sunday. And with that, I'm Grayson with your weather. Day 12 of the Olympics, Norway is in first with 28 medals, the Russian Olympic Committee is in second with 24, and Germany is in third with 20 medals. The SM boys basketball team won against Oswego 57-45. Cole Thomas led the team in points. The girls basketball team also beat Oswego 36-31. Anaya Jones led the team in 11 points, and Ariana Finkelstein was close behind with 9. The FM ice hockey team beat Fulham in the first round of sectionals 4-2. ESM athlete Jonas Osterley scored one goal and had three assists, and Joey Leveroni also scored a goal and had two assists. In upcoming games, the boys and girls track teams have their state qualifiers meet today at the SRC Arena at 4. The athletes going to state balls include Mike Parks, Rocky L, and the 4x4 team, consisting of, 4 by 4 team sorry, consisting of Sol Schofield, LJ Benjamin, Aiden Hurt, and Caleb Bird. The athletes that are going for the girls are Rhiannon Butchko, Ariana Brennan, and Kaylee Malouf. Congratulations. And I'm John with your sports. Alex and everyone else here at the morning show, have a great day.